In this quick tip, I'll show you how to quickly sync audio tracks to your shows. When building shows, often you'll find that the show length and audio length don't match up. That's when you might see something like this in the slide list. This gray part of the audio waveform is showing me that my show ends before my song does. Now more often than not, our goal is to get these times to line up. And that's where the audio quick sync options come in handy. For this first example, I have one audio track and I want the show and the soundtrack to end at the same time. Now instead of trying to adjust slide or transition times manually, let's have Pro Show do the work for us. In the File menu, I'm going to choose Audio and select Quick Sync Entire Show. What this option does is automatically adjust the length of all of my slide times so that my show and soundtrack end simultaneously. Once applied, you can verify that they are synced up by looking in two places. In the top right corner of the workspace, you can see that the show length and audio length are now the same. And back down in the slide list, you can see that the gray waveform is gone. My show and song now end at the same time. Another quick sync option is to sync only selected slides. If you use this quick sync option, your soundtrack and show will end at the same time but ProShow will only adjust the times for the slides you have chosen. Now notice that all of my slide times are set for 3 seconds. Now I'll select a couple of slides. Up in the File menu, I'll go to Audio, then choose Quick Sync Selected Slides. Now this warning lets me know that I'm only changing the time for the slides that I've selected, and I'll be adding some time to my show. Once applied, take a look at the slide list. Only the selected slides have had their timing adjusted. The other slides are still set for 3 seconds. I can also see that my show and soundtrack now end at the same time. The final quick sync option allows you to sync a range of selected slides to a single track. This is perfect for shows that mix moods or pacing, as well as for those times when you really want one song to match certain visuals. First, I'll add a soundtrack to my show. Then in the slide list, I'm going to select the first five slides at the beginning of my show. From the audio menu, I'll choose Quick Sync, Selected Slides to Track. Next, Pro Show will ask which soundtrack you want to sync to. When I press the Sync button, I'll be asked to confirm the changes. In the slide list, you'll see that the timing for those first few slides has been changed so that these five slides will be visible as long as this entire song plays. From here, I can add another track, select the remaining slides in my show, and then sync these slides to my second song. Now I have two parts of my show that are synced to separate soundtracks. You can also find some advanced quick sync options by double clicking on the soundtrack bar and opening the soundtrack options window. Down here in the soundtrack tools area, Click the Sync Slide to Audio button to access the advanced options. In the Synchronize Show to Soundtrack window, first, you'll find the same options we've already covered, selecting which slides you want to adjust and the soundtrack you want to sync to. The advanced options are located here, and these are very useful if your normal workflow involves customizing your slide and transition times to make sure some slides are longer than others. When you sync your slides to a soundtrack, you can tell ProShow to only adjust the slide times, to only adjust the transition times, or to adjust both. Here in the How to Adjust area, you can then define how ProShow behaves when applying the timing changes. Selecting Make All Times the Same will ignore any custom timing you've already applied, and will result in every slide having the same time. If you choose to keep the proportions the same, ProShow will do its best to maintain the existing proportions between your slides. Longer slides will stay longer, and shorter slides will stay shorter. Finally, you can also limit transitions to never exceed a custom length when syncing slides to a soundtrack. Thanks for watching. Be sure to visit our blog, 
like us on Facebook, and subscribe to our YouTube channel for even more helpful tips.